currently right now, I'm playing my Xbox, um, sipping on some water. But I was just reading my book, and a thought crossed my mind, right? And it was a thought that I had when I was talking to my cousins. I brought them to the park the other day. We were in a car driving, and we were talking about something, and I called it bizarre. And my six-year-old cousin goes, what does that mean? And then her older sister, like, answered, but I cut her off to let my little cousin think about, like, what the word meant, the word bizarre. And I explained to her that the word bizarre means something strange or something abnormal, right? And I was just, like, thinking about the word as I'm explaining it to her. What is normal? And that was, like, a thought that kept, right, like, it kept repeating in my mind. What is normal? In all reality, if you actually ask yourself the question, like, what is normal? It gets kind of difficult, because, like, really, what is normal? Does normal actually exist? Like, that's a question to ask yourself. Like, does normal actually exist? And I thought about it, I was like, no, normal doesn't exist. Because what actually is normal? And when I explained to her, like, in terms of normal, Technically, there is nothing normal. Is there such thing as a normal person? You know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? Like, what is a normal person? So I had to, like, really think about it. What I came up with, obviously, was, like, in terms of, like, a school day. Like, what's a normal school day? Like, you, it's very routine. That's, like, the word I came up with is routine. Anything out of routine would be abnormal, which would make it not a normal day. So like, say for instance, you have a random fire drill or, you know, you have something that, like you have like a performance in school that happens, like you have like a concert at school or they bring in some like goats or like some cows for like a in-school petting zoo. That's not a normal day at school, you know? So anything that's not in routine, I guess, would make it normal, but there's no such thing as normal per se when it comes to people you know because people in themselves are all like very different you know if that makes sense so there's no such thing as a normal person when it comes to people there is no such thing as normal because we're all very different you can come from your parents and they could be one way and you'll be a different way because you know everyone's made differently no matter where you come from like you can have a twin sister or a twin brother or even both and you'll still have differences in your personalities how you look you know what I'm saying there's no such thing as like two of the exact same you know what I'm saying you have similarities but there's no such thing as the same exact you know what I'm saying so I don't know, that was just my thoughts on, like, the conversation. It was very thought-provoking. It was, like, something very simple, but it made me think. Because even on the, the same thought, I had a conversation or a video that I made talking about, like, the creative process. And it made me start to think about, like, what's normal with creation? And, like, making art. And, like, also putting value or an opinion on artwork I think is normal to put a, a like you know like an opinion on art because it's not really an opinion it's more of a perspective and we all have our own perspective on how we see things because like you could look at this water bottle and say it's almost full or someone else could say it's almost done I mean to me it looks like it's almost full because I only took a few sips but for someone else, it's, I don't know. They could say that they think it's almost done because I already opened it and took a few sips. And if it's not full, maybe to them, it's almost done. You know, it's like the whole, like, glass half full, glass half empty conversation, which is also another thing in its own. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, perspective is very interesting because it, perspective is also on the lines of opinion which I feel like we're also very much so entitled to, but at the same time, we're not. 
because you can have your own opinion, but does your opinion matter to someone else? No. On that same thought, though, you can't argue opinion with facts. And that's a problem that a lot of people have, but I won't get into that either. But in regards to art, just do what looks cool to you because at the end of the day, what else is there to do it for? You know what I mean? If you're doing art to please someone else's eyes, you're not really functioning in your best capability, I feel like. Because if you're trying to make something that looks good for someone else, you're not going to actually enjoy it because it's, it's not truly what your brain wants to put down on this paper or this canvas or this wall if you're doing graffiti or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, really, what are you creating for? So it's, I guess there's like a double-edged sword with that too. I don't know, I think art is pretty cool and I keep making this whole thing about like, you know, making art and like doing exactly what it is that you're into, I feel like is the best option. And to me, it's really the only option. Because at the end of the day, like, if you're doing something you're not enjoying, what are you really doing it for? And I think that's really a question to ask um, yourself when you're um, creating things. Like, what is your purpose for creating? Sometimes it could just be for simple enjoyment. And honestly, that's fine. That's just as much as a reason to do it. I think that's the best reason to do anything is just for pure enjoyment and if anybody else likes it that's even better you know what i'm saying that's kind of how i function when it comes to like creating things like i can care less if anyone likes it as long as like i had fun doing it or you know it felt good to me yeah and if anybody else enjoys it too it's a, it's a bonus but at the end of the day bro i can't really see creating anything for the sole purpose of like enjoying it to be anything good so i'm just gonna keep saying like yeah enjoy what you do what is it february right now like february is bro february is like this weird month where like everyone thinks that it's like all about this like love it's the love bombing holiday i can't even take myself serious when i said that but anyway february is a cool month there's a lot of good things that happen in February, and that's Black History Month. Yes, so I definitely want to do some things this month, like looking into a lot of artists and, you know, history that have been black artists. And I want to see, like, from my own two eyes, like, what I can come up with. And, like, things of the nature of, like, just looking into, like, a lot of black black artists that I haven't seen before. But uh, Valentine's Day is coming, bro. And uh, I ain't tripping because I don't got nothing to worry about. I don't got no Valentine's and I'm perfectly fine with it, bro. I got my skateboard. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. I really don't have anything else to talk about. But if you do want to support any further, I have a company named Kierlum Studios also. Um, Lobby Worldwide is also my company, so go check it out, lobbyworldwide.com. Um, I got some pretty cool stuff, and I make pretty dope videos. I have another YouTube channel for skateboarding, and skateboarding only, and just like a bunch of short films and stuff. But if you want to go check that out, go check it out at Lobby Worldwide on YouTube. I'll put the links in the description if you guys want to check it out. Go buy a hoodie, go buy some sweats, go buy a t-shirt. They're really dope. And they're designed by me. So, yeah. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night or wherever you are, whatever it is. Later.